Can a laser cut rocks? That's the question I'm looking to answer today, because as you may have seen in my last video, I was sent a high-powered laser, the Ray 5 10 watt laser from Longer, and in the last video I did kind of a review, but I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know why they send it to me. And don't get me wrong, it's awesome and I'm very happy to have it, but I'm really working from a, uh, a zero level amount of knowledge about laser cuttings. The thing that set me off on this little journey was actually this video, where a longer razor was used to etch into uh, sandstone. And I don't know about you guys, but if I can cut rocks with my laser, uh, I'm gonna figure out how to do that. So I went out and found some rocks. Ah yes, rocks, the pearls of the ground. First up, because it was nice and flat and easy to measure the focal distance of the laser, I tried this chunk of concrete. All right, laser cutting into a rock or concrete, whatever. Test one, here we go. I don't know if that's uh, good for it. Um, it definitely smells. I can smell what the rock is cooking. Sparks are flying. You can definitely see it better from a distance. That's interesting. This actually worked out pretty okay. Definitely can't really see the image that I tried to burn in there, but the letters turned out pretty good. Sandstone, maybe. And from what I can tell, these are the rocks of choice to use if you're going to shoot a laser at a rock, if that's your thing, which it, it's apparently some people's. And I just grabbed these from the landscaping around the urban hellscape that is my apartment complex. There we go. Once again, effective, definitely etched into the material, but doesn't really feel like it carved out anything, just kind of burned the surface. Maybe a little bit. Off center, for sure, and you can see how the laser missed parts of it because of how it got further away from the laser. You can see it worked really well, kind of up towards the top here. A couple different results. I thought these were both sandstone, but I guess they're not, which is what happens when you just kind of scrounge materials. Anyone knows what's up with that? Let me know in the comments. And I know, yeah, hilarious, the rock in a rock. I'm, I'm over the joke at this point. I don't know if you can tell, but it's actually a little shiny. I think we actually were able to melt the rock. Kind of a basalt, glassy looking thing. Interesting. It's a brick. That looks like it's doing something. We're gonna do one more pass on that, just get it as deep and as lasered as we can get it. All right, here we go. Oh, that did carve into the surface a little bit, so call that a success. Probably my favorite so far. I'm still working on the best way to process images when it comes to lasering things, but this had a similar effect to that rock that we were able to melt a little bit. Pretty clearly defined image, definitely not something you'd want to hang up on the wall, but really promising, and I think in the future there's a project to be done with laser engraving bricks to be determined. The next rock is a very hard and very shiny rock that uh, looks like a quarter. <sighs> oh yeah, that's on fire. I don't know if you know about them, but I'm a big fan of, they call them hobo nickels. I guess in today's day and age, you'd call them uh, the currency of the unhoused, but I really wanted to try to make something like that myself with one of these lasers. As excited as I was to attempt this to my great dismay, the laser actually had next to no effect on the quarter. It turned it a little darker and you can kind of see maybe some like etching lines in there, but ultimately all it really did was kind of change the color a little bit. I think what happened was the shininess of the coin just reflected the laser instead of allowing it to be absorbed into the material or whatever you call it. But like I said, I'm no expert, so I would like to get this done. So if you know how to get that happening with a 10 watt laser, let me know. Last, just for fun and because I'm married to a ceramicist who wanted to try this out, I lasered a plate from the kitchen. I heard from people People that I talked to about this project that I might not be able to actually laser into ceramics if they're glazed and luckily I found out that this is absolutely not the case and I was able to get a really clean inscription on this flat ceramic back. This is probably my favorite thing that I've made with this laser so far, um, as dumb as it is. I guess I just like a good inside joke with myself, but who doesn't? 
And that, my friends, be the results. Thanks again to Longer for sending that laser out to me. If you're in the market for a budget laser that could be best for you, I'm gonna have a link down below. Go ahead and click on that and it'll get you a discount and you can acquire a Longer Ray 5 10 watt for yourself. But I'm excited for my next dinner party because I'm gonna get real weird with it. All right, thanks for watching everybody. Let me know if you got any ideas you want me to try out and I'll see you in the next one.